Hecla <coughs> erupts from a, a, a storage zone which is a fairly shallow depth within the crust, estimated being roughly about 8 kilometers depth. Um, we don't know exactly the shape of it, but that storage zone contains magma which is uh, has variable composition. So at the top you will have silicic light colored magma, if you like, more silicious. And as you go further down, it becomes more basaltic or more mafic. And in other words, it's layered. And when it erupts, you tap first the silicic magma and you form the light-colored pumice. As the eruption progresses, you start to tap the more mafic layers deeper down, hence the color will change. And same applies to the composition. The composition of the, of the product that comes out changes and becomes more mafic, or in other words, more magnesium rich, more iron rich. If the longer period between eruptions will allow more silicic magma to accumulate at the top of, the, of, of this magma chamber or storage zone, if you like, and you will get more of that material the longer the repose period is.